So I'm letting you guys see me practice on a road glide for the first time. If I make some mistakes, I make some mistakes. I'm not worried about it. We all make mistakes. I sure would like to have one of these though. I could tell it would be a great ride to bike. Now let's do some tight circles. Here we go. See how this works. I'm going to try not to use my rear brake and keep my RPMs to a minimum. Stay within the lines the best I can for the first time. <laughs> Got to sit high in that saddle. got a little bit more problems to the left. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm at full lock. Ooh. See, that's another thing. To get out here and practice on your motorcycle as much as I'm doing, you'll definitely heat your clutch plates up and your rear brakes up. You're gonna put a lot of wear and tear on your bike doing that. You, want, you don't want a whole lot of wear and tear on your bike. Now let's try some new turns with the clutch disengaged. Here we go. Clutch disengaged. The less wear and tear, the better. Here we go, disengage clutch. Straight line start offs, clutch only. Okay, remember, when you make your straight line start off, Engage the clutch as the bike starts to roll. Bring your left foot up. When you're ready to stop, bring your clutch in. The bike's still rolling. Apply pressure to the rear brake and bring the bike to a controlled stop. Place your left foot down, okay? Straight line start-offs. Clutch only, no throttle. Clutch only, here we go, from a stop. No throttle there. The left with the clutch disengaged, just enough momentum to make the turn. Now I'm not asking you to make turns with your clutch disengaged, I'm just showing you it doesn't take a whole lot of RPMs from the throttle, here we go. See, that was to the right. Now let's do it to the left. Low RPMs, use the clutch only with a little bit of RPM. Whatever you engage the clutch, you roll onto the throttle. 